day guys welcome back how are you hope you're doing well I'm going to do another little spin pour for you using my split cup <laughs> still got a bit of water in it and they're really hard to clean out I'm gonna have to get a little baby bottle brush to, to get in there so hopefully it'll be all right but this is the next size up this is a 40 centimeter uh 16 inch i think it is <clears throat> so i'm going to layer my colors i've got purple yellow lime and turquoise i'm going to put them in here i'm going to do a black background and then i'm going to do a ring pour while i spin my canvas it's sitting on a cake decorating turntable thingy so i just got that on ebay now my paints are the montmartre acrylic so using those <clears throat> I've got uh, glue flow troll and water in my pouring medium and I've mixed them one part pouring medium to one part paint so a little bit thinner than I would usually use for ring pours but I kind of want um, like a wispy sort of a look rather than fingerlings you know with the stumpy little finger ends that I get sometimes so wanting more of a wispy look with this technique so I have gone a little bit thinner I'm still working on the pouring medium as to how much of each I'm adding so once I've worked it out and I've got it right then I'll share that with you but just at the moment I'm still playing with it the one I did before in the phoenix colors the red and the yellow uh what did i use blue and uh, blue and turquoise <clears throat> yeah that was a little bit thicker so this one's a little bit thinner we'll see which one works better uh, yeah i'll just do some experimenting and then once i've worked it out we'll be good to go so hopefully these colors will look nice together they're not my usual colors but look i'm trying to think outside the box and do something a little bit different because I always do blues or my phoenix I thought oh, this would be nice maybe who knows uh, if your mix is too thin the colors will blend too much and they'll just get muddy so it's a bit of a fine line you need to have them thick enough that they don't blend too much uh, but not too thick that you lose your little features this little compartment on the end here must be much smaller than the others because look it's full already and I've got the same amount of paint in there all right there we go yeah it must be smaller <clears throat> um, 3d printing these are just there's lots of people that do them now I just got a local 3d printer to do mine all right so I'm going to cover with black now this is two parts pouring medium one part paint because I want it thinner and I'm just going to spread this and go right down the edges Righto, enough chit chat, let's do this. Um, I wonder if I can just do that to get all the colours coming out equally. There we go, that works, sort of. Alright, I'm just going to go for it. Little ring paws. Whoa, why are we blobbing? Get a little bit closer that way that I can get my circles going nicely and that's better it's always a little bit tricky when you first start you 
and then just slowly spin the opposite direction. To what you're turning. Now I don't know what to do. Keep going. I don't know whether I'm supposed to stay in the same spot with my cup or whether I'm supposed to like move a little bit, like a little wandering paw. I'm not really sure. I might move a little bit. I might come this way towards myself. So I want to have a little bit of an interesting pattern. Keep turning. I oh, love that centre. Oh my gosh. I don't know what would happen if I went the other way. Now I have to turn the other way. Because I'm doing the ring pour the opposite way. Does it make a difference? That just feels weird. Now that feels unco. Doing it that way. I'm just going to do like stay in one spot a little bit longer so that my rings, uh, or like this worm that I'm making, is like a little bit thicker. I think the last one it was a little bit too thin. My lime is kind of disappearing. I'll go the other way again. I'm getting a lot of lime coming through. Love that centre. I wish I would have stayed in the middle a little bit longer before um, sort of spinning it out. I'll try and stay. She might stop there. Mm. No, I'll keep going. Keep going. <clears throat> what happens if I make bigger circles? Another little experiment that I should do. What happens when you make bigger circles? I guess you get more colour coming through. Pretty much out of paint though, so I'll just finish here. So I'm nearly out. Okay, <clears throat> that'll do. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at those colours, oh my gosh. See, purple and um, yellow work really nicely together. The lime, I'm a bit disappointed with the lime. <clears throat> I'm thinking... So I haven't got very much definition in my turquoise. My turquoise might have been a little bit thinner than the other colours. Actually, no, my lime was thinner. I remember I had to add more lime. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I love that. And I was kind of hoping that I would still keep a little bit of black through the centre there, which I have. See, next time I do it, I might do it a bit wider to keep more black in the middle. But I'm going to see if I can keep a little bit of negative space. All right, let's do a spin and get that to spread out. Not a very big spin, just a little spin to start with. Oops, 
Oops, now we're going over the edge. I think I'm going to have to tilt you. Because, oh, uh, I don't know whether I was maybe off. I'm going to have to work it out so I can have more colour around there because it's all going to run off here now. Unless I sort of tip it that way. Didn't really want to have to tip, I just wanted to spin. I might have to. I'm only going to spin the one way too. Look, I'm just going to spin it because I don't want to tip because it's going to change the composition. So I'll just, oh, I better do it gently. I'm not in my, oh, I'm not in my spin box. Oh my gosh. I'm not in my spin box. I should have put my spin box up. <clears throat> okay. Maybe we just leave it with some black like that. This needs to be touching the edge. I don't like that. All right, definitely need to get my spin box out if I'm going to do this. My puppy pull. Just want to get that edge to go over. Just this bit here. And then uh, I might leave it like that, just with a little bit of black negative space. So just let that go over. Hasn't gone over just yet. Oh, one more time. I'm making a mess. The paint's going on the floor. Should have got my spin box out. I'm going to keep doing this, which I am, because this is fun and it's a bit something a bit different for me. I'll get my box out. It's under the table, actually. It's under this table. All right, look, we're nearly over. Let's go again. I'm trying to catch the paint. All right, that's gone over. Oh, look at it, you guys. Oh, wow. Oh, I love that. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. My husky voice. I'm doing the husky, sexy, deep voice thing. It's just allergies. I've had it before. It's just allergies. It'll go away. So don't worry about me, all those people that are concerned. I'm fine. It's just allergies. What do you think? Do you love it? Wow. I might see if I can just get a little bit more of that to cover. So it's smaller black. Oh, I'm stood in paint. I've got socks on and I just stood in paint. I was not thinking this through, was I, when I decided to do this? Okay. Happy with that. So happy with that. Now. No, I better not. See, the thing with, <clears throat> excuse me, once you've got your design, if you start tipping this and tilting this, these lines that you've made, which are now beautiful and round or curved, if you start tilting, you're going to sort of wobble them or they're going to go off center or something. So I actually really like that turquoise now because the lime has popped through. We've got a little bit of purple there, a little bit of black there, a little bit more black there, and then this is just gorgeous. So I, I love that composition. What do you think? I mean, if anything, you know, it could move up this way a little bit, but then you'd lose this. So, no, look, I'm being, I'm just being picky. I'm going to, oh my gosh, my socks are covered in paint. Um, I'm just going to run my finger around the bottom there, ever so gently. Catch that paint because it's dripping off. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> Jeez, it's been a long time since I've loved an acrylic pour as much as this. I've been really enjoying my resin and um, I know you guys like the acrylic pouring but I was just you know getting a bit tired of it do the same thing over and over so I thought I need to need to get out of the box a little bit and get something new oh love that what a mess though oh my gosh I'm gonna clean this up and get my spin box out and then I can do more paintings for you 
<clears throat> right, let's get you down for a close-up. Oh, I love it. Oh, my gosh. It's, oh, it's been way, way too long since I've loved painting as much as this one. <clears throat> oh, and I forgot. Um, I did give credit in my previous video. I forgot. The two people that I've been watching a few videos of, not many because I thought, oh, I'm going to give that a try. Um, I watched uh, Rodney King. R. King, I think he is, on Instagram. I don't know if he's got a YouTube channel. And um, the lovely Fiona Art on YouTube. Look, oh my gosh. It's like I've just like painted those, like with a paintbrush. Now the lime's coming through. Oh, it's so beautiful. And uh, I don't mind that block of turquoise there now. It just... It's kind of a little bit of negative space somewhere for the eye to rest because we've got some purple negative space there and the turquoise negative space. Look at those features. Ah, oh, little baby cells. Oh, OMG, you guys. I love it. Whoops, get your fingers out of the screen, woman. Do you want to see the sides? Look at the sides. The sides are amazing too. Look at that. Look at that. And go all the way around. <laughs> So cool! Oh, look at that center. That is my favorite. Bet you I couldn't do that again if I tried. Oh, wow. All right, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to get my spinner out. And um, sorry if you don't like this technique, but you're going to be seeing a few more of them in this different colors because this is so much fun. And this top bit here, it's kind of like you've got feathers and it goes in, feathers and it goes in, and then feathers and it goes in. Like it's wavy feathers around there. Love it. All right, guys, I'll leave it at that. I'm sure you're sick of hearing me talk. Um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I will be back for more. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell and click all so that um, you'll be able to get notified when I put up new videos. All right. Love you all. See you real soon. Bye for now.